Welcome, this is my 4.5 inch Tesla turbine electric generator. We were using compressed air. I got 190 gallons worth of compressed air at 120 PSI. This will be the throttle pressure. This is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40 will be here, but that exceeds the gauge. I got a 24 volt inverter that the three phase from the generator comes off of and goes through a three phase rectifier that goes into the back of the 24 volt burn inverter. The generator's uh, KV is 1090. That means it's uh, 190 RPM per volt. So for every 190 RPMs it spins, it'll put out one volt. So it's gonna be around 440, 25,000 RPM and about 24 volts. There's going to be resistance losses, plus this uh, in thing in itself itself has its own current draw. Right here will give us the DC voltage off of the generator after it's rectified. This will give us the frequency that's coming off of a piezoelectric element that I put underneath here. That just picks up the vibration. This, which is RPM... So if you multiply this number by 60, it'll come out to be about 440. Uh, I've got to turn this on with this button for this inverter, but we've got, I had previously done a 600 watt load, a, or 250 watt load, a 600 watt load, and now I'm going to be able to do 850 with a 600 plus 250 at once. The next we'll do a 1200 watt with those two together. If you're ready, let's get this going. I gotta start to turn my compressors off. That was cool. Had a little bit of water in the compressors you can see came through. I don't know why this gauge didn't work, the multimeter didn't work, but the whole thing worked. Woohoo! 850 watts. Let's go. Went from 120 to about yeah, let's say 78, 75 PSI.